Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. We're at the club, we've got training today and as you can tell from the title, we are discussing injuries for rowing. Usually that can mean, well that can mean a variation of different injuries depending on the individual. But first we've got some training to do, and then we can discuss some injuries, some injury prevention, and all that jazz. Okay, let's get to it. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. You're riding shotgun. The feeling we chase, I'm wide awake. Take me away now. Don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling I've got is making me crazy Making me crazy So I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive After a wonderful session on the air, wasn't it wonderful, Ed? It's a great way to start the day. And I've got my Eddie Brent toast. Oh, yeah, and you just saw Big Adam Neil on the air go. He's back from his holiday in ballet doing some game hunting. Because <laughs> that's what you do in ballet. And because all the guys from the squad are coming back, almost time for them to start training. Oh, yeah. What are we doing for the rest of the day, Ed? Uh, we're going to go out on a, in a, maybe a big boat, a little cheeky little session in a big boat, and then uh, go home and sleep. Oh yeah, and we're also going to talk about injuries as well with rowing and how to recover. Oh, let's get some food because food is fuel. And we've finished breakfast, now it's time to hop in the eight and just yam on it. Oh yeah! And we've made it into the crew. We've got some video analysis. We've got some chicken and lentils. Oh yeah, let's get it. Food's fuel. Woohoo! And now we're going to talk about dealing with injuries with some of the lads. And Robson's here, so let's see what Robson thinks. Robson, dealing with injuries. Tips for the fans. Well, well, uh, don't rush back. 
Make sure you're properly fit and healthy before you uh, you come back to full training and ease yourself back into it. There's no point in going hard too early and then injuring yourself for longer. Or injuring, injuring yourself again. Very good points, Robson. Let's see who else has an opinion on the matter. And we're with big Ed Grinsdale now. Ed had a hip operation because his back was horrendous. How long ago, Ed? Uh, it was about three years ago that I had my operation. And about a year before that, that I had my back, which like blew out, basically. And so Robson had the tips of what to do coming back from injury. What about tips on not getting injured? Make sure you do all the core that like is set for you. Like stay on top of all the stretching if you've got any like niggles or whatever. Potentially like stay on the safe side, especially with backs and rowing. Like if you have a niggle with your back, it's probably best to just like do something else, do a bike or whatever, instead of just like aggravating it and aggravating it until it's so far into like the season or whatever. Your back's so bad that you just can't train anymore. Yeah. So like listening to your body, listening to your body and trying not to be too proud to stop. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to like force yourself by doing too much, but it's also difficult like when you've got your coach being like, yeah, you gotta do more. So you have to be able to have, be, have a relationship with the support system around you to be able to say, look, brethren, I have broken myself and I need to fix it or I'm going to break myself. Yeah, and I think um, like, Getting yourself sorted out quickly as well, like going to see a, yeah. um, like a doctor or like physio, a physio or something like straight away. Don't don't like stew on it. Think about I'll it. do it next yeah, week. Or yeah, exactly. So pretty simple tips really, but it's really all about being on top of things. Whether it's if you're going to get injured, you have to listen to your body. If you are injured, staying on top of going to the doctor, the physio, recovery, and all that jazz. But. We have another session. Oh, my sister is also here, so she can ah, do injury stuff. All right. And now we're with my sister, Malia. She was injured last year, her back went kaput. And now she's coming back from injury, or back from injury. What did you learn from said injury, Mari? Well, the... Hello. The first thing I learned was... Um, <laughs> To listen to your body, which is quite a cliche, but it's something that's very important when you're trying to be kind of an elite level athlete. A little niggle can quickly build up and become something major, so you really need to um, treat those those little niggles with respect. Um, yeah. So keeping it very simple, like Ed and Robson said as well, listening to your body is very key when it comes to injury so that will be it for the end of today's episode hopefully you enjoyed it and as always yam squad subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and have a good one